Okay, so welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be looking at the very famous uh, port town of Cadiz um, in Spain. Now this sketch took quite a while, it took about 15 minutes to, to put together and obviously careful drawing is the key to this. The rest we're just kind of going to be, be colouring in a way. Um, we've got a couple of figures down here walking uh, along the beach and we have this kind of the shoreline here but anyway let's just get straight into it and I'll just des describe what's going on as I'm going through to start with though we're gonna just wet some of this um, with clear water and pop in some of this ultramarine and then just work that down being careful around the buildings as we come down Again, we're creating a nice hot um, effect or atmosphere. So I'm just gonna keep the clouds really, really to the minimal and it's just blue sky. Coming down around the buildings very carefully, down to the edge there. And that's just about it. And um, we're gonna use the same mixture here for the sea and the sea is gonna be very dark there will be little um, flecks of light coming through as well as you can see I'll just pop that in carefully around these figures hopefully you can retain a touch of white around those guys there the tip of the brush that will do it I just need to straighten up this line here that's it I'm not messing around with that just leave it um, so we have the little sort of flecks of foam and and stuff that you you tend to get uh, in seas. Uh, there's a little piece here going up there. Now, that's that bit done. Change brushes, and we're going to go for some of our sienna in here. Pop that in. It's a general underpainting. All the way along. And then here there are a lot of rocks. Again, we need to be careful here. But I want to retain some flecks of light in there as well. So we'll sort that out in a while when we pop in shadows. There is also some burnt sienna in these. So we'll dot in that as well at the moment. It's just a bit warmer. That's better. There's rocks in here. Just trying to keep it really loose. Notice again, holding the brush near the end. It's just suggestions. Going in for the raw umber as well, just to warm that up. And then there's lots of whites and lots of yellow. So we're gonna go yellow okra here. Okra, okra, whichever way you want to look at it. I need to be careful on these buildings to get the right ones because there are so many. And a bit warmer on this one next to it.
sort of fortified defences. And the thing that's going to make this painting, there are lots of shadows. Um, a little bit warmer here. And again, lots of white. The roof here is nice and bright. Almost like a terracotta. A lighter one here. Similar tones. Few roofs there, a couple in here, it's done there, lots of white, and a lot of this will be shadows we said before, and that's really what's going to make this painting. There's also some darker notes that we can pop in here. All the way along. So we're just thinking in terms of warm and cool shapes, big shapes, small shapes, and so on. I think while we're here, we'll pop in some of this shadow colour. Just let that bleed in a bit. Just create the kind of illusion or effect of the water up against the rocks. It kind of echoes what we just did there as well. Nice and loose. <clears throat> we'll pop in the beach. Keeping that nice and simple. There we go. And that'll do for the moment. We'll then need to think about uh, shadows, but we need this all to dry off. So I'll catch you uh, when that's done. So we're moving on to the shadows now. We're going to mix up a couple of mixtures here of ultramarine and this crimson. Obviously get one darker, one warmer. Cooler, rather not darker. Well, it is darker, but okay. So it's looking really carefully at these shadows now and popping them in quickly. Probably use two brushes for this just to get a bit more precision. This is quite detailed. So it's looking really carefully at those shadows. Try to get them in accurately. And obviously mixing them up a little bit. In terms of their colors. Hmm. 
not really much to say on this so I'm just going to concentrate with the subject of all this architecture it's really important to just simplify as much as possible into blocks and shapes and that's really what I'm kind of doing here because if you squint your eyes up at a subject when you're being bombarded with lots of information you'll find that that simple process of squinting and just basically getting the highlights in and getting the darks in you'll, you'll then notice uh, what's important in other words what you can leave out and what you can't leave out and th thinking in terms of blocks of shapes that's really important obviously shadows or shapes so try and get those in get those in as accurately as possible a few little bits of detail that we need to work on We're almost there think about that got a couple in here yep that's about it um, work on the figures so we'll pop in the heads this remember and color of choice of what they're gonna wear we'll have one light and one dark or darker if we go for a blue that might be a bit odd because there's lots of blue in this so let's go for red Seems to make more sense. Let's have this character here in red. And I'm quite happy to leave that character there in white because that kind of ties in with what we've got. Just make these just a little bit darker there. We will pop a shadow in into there as well. We could do that now. That'll do. And we're really getting close to the finish of this. some more of these sort of shadows of the rocks just to bring this forward and 
And that's almost it. Now we could leave this as pencil marks or we can come in with some darker notes. In these buildings. Let's do a combination of the two. I'm not going to go over every single part there. So it's just putting in a few little details really. But trying not to go too detailed if that makes sense. It's quite nice that some of these are sort of blurring and fading away. Work there. Put a few of those. Talking of dry brush, brush work, we'll just pop in some in here just to break this up a little bit. And I'm happy with this. It gets to the point when you're kind of stuck for ideas of what to do next. That's kind of yourself telling yourself. If that makes sense. To stop, really. And that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, Cadiz, nice hot summer day. A couple of figures walking along the beach in this very historic, ancient uh, port in Spain. Remember to subscribe, to like. We're really close to a thousand subscribers now. And over 79% of you guys who watch these videos don't subscribe so remember to subscribe if you want this content on a weekly to 10 day basis and hopefully every time i upload you're learning lots that you can put into your own painting take care now and as always happy painting <laughs>